Hi guys, it's your girl Cassie. Please excuse me. I It's been a busy day, but I really want to record for y'all. <sighs> but my Vaseline is like, it all melted in my car. Oh lord, the weather. But anyways, I really just want to show you this point. So I went to my Bible study, I mean, my prayer meeting at my church, and we learned something so powerful that I wanted to kind of reiterate to you guys but the holy spirit can do whatever it wants because you know the holy spirit always specializes messages for everybody so father god i pray that as we watch this video that the eyes of our understanding may be enlightened that we may know you better in jesus name i pray amen so as i was praying i felt the holy spirit directing me to read um ephesians Sorry, guys, it's a UPS truck, but I hope that doesn't bother you all. So we're going to, I think it was Ephesians. Forgive me because I don't know where half of these books are <laughs> with the physical Bible. I really don't know. Um, looks like it's Ephesians 1 verse. 17 through 20 so it says i keep asking that the father of our lord jesus christ the glorious father may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better and i pray this is verse 18 as well i pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you to the riches of his in his glorious inheritance um in his holy people amen i'll keep reading through 19 to 20 but let me break down 17 and 18 first this is so powerful sorry y'all every time but i like recording outside y'all see the leaves and the snow is pretty right okay let me not i don't that's i don't know i don't want to show too much of someone's house but the eyes of your understanding must be enlightened. There's a reason why Paul said that. Paul was saying, hey, y'all have to be seers. Y'all have to have revelations and visions. And lately I've been having so many visions about people. God won't show you everything. He'll show you what you can handle. But it's been crazy. Like I've been shown this, that, and a lot of people, a lot of stuff. And you know, people are like, oh, exposed. I feel like some people on YouTube who have that privilege that God has given them, they don't use it wisely. They just sit up here and make a video. Just because someone's a celebrity doesn't mean you have to re release like videos about them. Maybe God wants you to pray or do something or you can contact the person directly. I'm not saying in some cases you don't, but I don't want to go off topic. Sorry, I, I have so much to say that I'm so excited. So I sound like a little not smooth today. I apologize. But seriously, God wants your understanding. It's the, I, there's this verse that says understanding of the Holy One is, ah, I wish I knew it. There's another verse that says, Lord, your words, your unfolding words give insight. And I will try to find these verses. Why I'm saying these verses is because they're so powerful. They're so important to you and your destiny. Your destiny really lies on you. It God has already done his part, but we're just doing stuff to make to get to his side of his end of the not bargain, but whatever. His his end that he's given us, he's guaranteed us. And unfortunately, most people don't know that the start is your eyes. Lately, I've been seeing things with my spiritual eyes. You know, your spiritual eyes. They're not talking about your physical eyes in this verse. He's saying, may your spiritual eyes be enlightened. Your spiritual eyes can only be enlightened if you choose to not be blindfolded. There's so many Christians who are blindfolded by the enemy because the Bible says the God of this age has blinded the hearts and the minds of believers. The hearts and the minds. It starts with the heart because if the devil can make your heart so cold. There's a song I used to sing. It's by Omarion. Um, it's an R&B song. Y'all know I used to like that. Maybe. Um, 
It's like, cause I got an icebox where my heart used to be. Y'all know that song? If you don't, it's okay, whatever. You're not missing out. Cause it's bad. Cause I'm like, wow, I was singing this song. No wonder my heart was like literally cold towards people. Because what you declare with your mouth, it comes to pass. And you declare things from your heart. Since his heart was cold because a girl broke his heart, I mean, when God tries to speak a word to him, it won't be released. I mean, it'll be released, but it won't It won't penetrate his heart because his heart was that cold. What I'm getting at is, as Christians, we have to really put God's word first. We have to seek the Holy One first because when we don't is when things start to happen. I want all y'all to have vision. Some of you on here are probably very prophetic. You have colorful visions that come to pass. In order for that gift to be used well, you have to you have to read the Bible more. Something I'm learning is I have to read the Bible more. Like when I get back home, I think I might be reading more. I'll just be doing something, even watching a sermon, but mostly reading because as a Christian, you have to fast daily. We we're talking about that. I'm not saying don't eat, don't drink water. I'm saying like social media is good to fast. Like usually I've been failing a little bit, but I'm trying to keep a 30 time limit, 30 minute time limit on um, social media. And so is like my phone and stuff. I'm trying to limit, like, I'm not crazy on my phone unless I'm, today I was because I went downtown for an appointment and then I had to find a bus and all this stuff and I went the wrong way. But yeah, like obviously that's needed, but I'm talking about sometimes I used to talk on the phone a lot to people. Now I'm just like, because I realized something, when you talk too much, it can turn into gossiping. It can go where it's not supposed to. That's why we have to let the eyes of our understanding be enlightened. How will you know gossiping is a sin? Because your eyes of understanding will be enlightened. God showed me how much my words, gossiping words, I thought they were innocent, but they hurt people. People were hurt by the stuff I said about them. That's why I made up my mind to change the way you talk. It's not always going to be easy, but trust me, it's worth it. Because you don't want to always just talk mad about people. Because they can, well, not even they can find out, but it dishonors you. It really destroys your own, like, um, what do they call it? Your own... Um, conscious because you're degrading yourself to do that but let's go on to 20 i mean 19 so ephesians 1 verse 19 to 20 sorry i went off track but i hope this is helping someone and his incomparably great power for for who believe that is that power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in heavenly realms sorry i had to speak in tongues i had to i'm sorry y'all it comes randomly every now and then not randomly but timely when you hear a powerful word like that you know even with that i feel like sometimes we listen to people too much like i was afraid to speak in tongues because i didn't want to blaspheme the holy spirit and i didn't want to be seen as weird and all this stuff but god really showed me you need to stop caring about what people think because you know the eight the devil and his people they have their own demonic tongues that's why we have to be bold as christians because they be speaking their tongues we have to speak i don't like this christianity where we just sit there and love the devil to hurt us you, that's why i come up on here honestly i wouldn't care but i care about y'all if it wasn't for y'all i wouldn't come on here i don't really I don't really care about like being super influent to some extent I care because of my destiny but if it wasn't for that I wouldn't care but back to verse 17 and 18 that was showing us that our hearts our eyes need to be enlightened our spiritual hearts and eyes they need to be enlightened because God wants to show us deeper things God wants to show you generational curses that have had a hold on your family that need to be broken it can be broken through jesus name and god can break it through you 
you know, maybe your kids won't have to go through that. That's a good goal that God wants, but it's not going to be easy because when God started revealing that stuff to me, it was hard because I'm like, wow, my ancestors, I'm African, so my ancestors were doing some crazy stuff. And I had to realize that, you know, I kind of see the patterns of how I was behaving that way. That's why your eyes of understanding has to be enlightened so that you know God better. But anyways, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Before I wrap up, I want to read verse 20 again. He exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in heavenly realms. God has seated us in heavenly realms through Christ Jesus. So that's why I said you have to elevate. In order for you to elevate, you have to separate. I know that sounds corny. It sounds like something they put on a t-shirt or a poster at some school. So, so, sorry, separate before you elevate. But it's so true because... You know, you have to be different in your generation if you want to make an impact. And you have to spend time with God. Even after this, I, I got to go spend time with God. Because lately I've been getting too caught up in school. And the cares of this life. It's so easy to get swept into being influential and all this stuff. So I just pray that this video bless you. And I pray that your eyes and your heart will be enlightened. Because you are seated in heavenly realms and i just want to tell you your mistakes don't disqualify you because i'm tired of people saying well i'm going to hell no you're not you're not hell material hell is for the devil and his minions the thing is they they deceive people into that god doesn't choose that's another video topic god doesn't choose we choose and the devil is unfortunately deceiving people that god won't love you who cares about your past i'm tired of people saying i've never done good that's an opportunity. Like, isn't that fun? Kind of, sort of. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to go off topic. And I kind of went off topic. But sometimes it's good because it helps uh, someone out there. But I have somewhere to go. So I thank you guys for watching. I thank God for giving me this platform. I really appreciate the community we're building. Don't be afraid to leave comments. I don't know, video suggestions, I just randomly do videos, so I have no idea. But I'll see you guys, I'll update you guys on the prayer thing. If you guys are interested, just put a peace sign in the comments for prayer. Um, I can pray for you. I don't, I want to make it anonymous, but if you feel comfortable leaving your request, go ahead. But I thank you guys, and also pray for me. <laughs> okay bye guys i love you guys bye